What's up guys and welcome to this episode of Texas Redfish Hunter TV. Today I'm going to be doing a product review over the portable fish finder known as the iBobber Fish Finder. So lately I've been in the market for a fish finder for my kayak and in doing a lot of research on them you know they can be pretty expensive. I was looking at fish finders that were around $300 and then I'd have to build them out for them and you know put them on my kayak and that's a lot of work especially for someone who doesn't necessarily need a fish finder very often. A lot of the fishing I'm doing is six inches of water to three feet of water and you know you don't need a fish finder for that but there are situations where I am in deeper water where a fish finder comes in handy but I didn't want to spend three hundred dollars on something that I would probably only use on fifteen percent of my fishing trips that's when I came across the iBobber fish finder which is a portable fish finder and I can say that it works for me in a lot of different situations so I zoomed in here so that I can go over some of the features you get with this portable fish finder so the first thing is it's small. It weighs 1.7 ounces. It comes with a carrying case. It can be thrown in your tackle box and it's easy to take with you wherever you end up going. It retails for $99 and it connects to your iPhone or your Android through the app that you can download on the App Store. So your phone becomes the face of the fish finder. So the things that come with the fish finder are obviously sonar. So it maps the, how deep the water is that you're in and if there are fish underneath you. A little fish icon comes up if a fish comes underneath the bottom. You can map the waterbed, which is fantastic if you don't know the type of water you're fishing in or how deep the water is or if there's drop offs or structure. So it's fantastic so you can cast it out and as you reel it in, it's going to map the waterbed and the entire area that you're in, which I think is great. Another cool feature of this is it gives you weather, water condition, and lunar calendars. So it gives you all the conditions that you are fishing in. That way, if you are catching fish, you can create a trip log through the app that can map exactly the conditions you were fishing in. If those conditions ever come up again, you can look through your trip log and say, hey, this is the conditions of today. I have a trip log of what I was doing under these conditions back, and I was catching fish doing this. So you can go back to previous trips that you took so that you're always successful in the future. I think that's fantastic that this iBobber and the app itself can do all that for you. He threw the hook! Oh my god, he threw it! Oh my god, he threw it. It's just not my morning. Alright, well, I'm gonna start anyway. So, today I'm going over the eye bobber. I couldn't deal with not being out here. It's a little bit chilly, the water's a little bit cold, but I had to check out this eye bobber. So, here it is. It's a castable bobber, and I'm really excited to use it out here because out on this lake, I don't have a fish finder. Um, as I kind of described earlier, I know nothing about what the bottom of this lake looks like. Um, I don't know any structure, I don't know how deep it is. All I know is that there's a lot of wooded banks and that's kind of what I've always been fishing. But um, my goal is to, you know, use the eye bobber and figure out what's going on under the water here. I'm going to see if I can't get that fish to bite again. Oh. So first thing you need to know about this eye bobber is it turns on when it hits the water. So as soon as this thing hits the water, it's going to be ready to be found. So you just go to your phone, you download the app, you attach it through Bluetooth, so you just make sure your Bluetooth is on, it'll find that device, and now we're ready to map the bottom. Alright, so what I'm looking to do now is map the waterbed where I hooked that fish, see what that fish was holding on. So I'm just going to cast the eye bobber out, press OK, and now I'm just going to reel in slowly and press OK when I'm done mapping it, and it'll tell me exactly uh, the bottom structure and what that fish was holding on. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you a little screenshot, and I'll just paste that into the video right now to show you what I see on my phone. So after looking at that, I'm sitting on about a 3 foot drop off. It goes from about 5 foot of depth to about 8 foot of depth. So that's what that fish was holding on, was right on that drop off. So I'm going to fish this little drop off that I didn't know was here, and uh, see if I can't pull another fish in. Alright, 
So I did just find out the water right here, as I put the paddle in the water, it's about three feet deep. This thing's still reading five feet. So basically what that means is this device, this portable fish finder, does not do depths less than five feet, which makes sense. I mean, if it's five feet, you usually can tell that it's five feet. So it does do deeper water. But that just means that the screen capture that I showed you, it doesn't drop off from five feet. It drops off from, you know, three feet substantially to about eight feet. So that's an even bigger drop off than is seen in that, uh, that waterbed mapping. So that's something to keep in mind that if something reads five feet, it's probably less than five feet. Um, but other than that, like between, you know, depths greater than five feet, it seems pretty accurate. Big carp. Really sh small test. Oh yeah, it's a big carp. Right on this drop off, it came up on the little flat to feed. Big ass carp. Come on, stay out of there. Stay out of there. I'll turn it. Here we go. I don't know. I have a feeling it's gonna be a long fight. No, come this way. Carp. I saw them come up on this flat. You know, they came out of the deep water, up on the flat to feed. They run back to the to the deep water. Like I said, it's a pretty big drop off. So, boom, producing fish. All right, guys. So I think that's going to be it for me from the lake today. You know, I didn't use this for very long, but it already kind of found me a new spot. I found out that this thing drops off a lot faster than I thought it did, so instead of fishing the bank, I should probably be fishing these drop-offs. These fish were coming from the drop-off onto the flat to feed, so it already produced pretty well for me, and I'm looking forward to kind of taking this and seeing what the rest of this lake has to hold. But you know, I think that there's other situations in which this, in which this thing can be useful. So um, I'm going to take it to the jetty. I do a lot of jetty fishing, especially during bull red season, I think it can be helpful there. So I'm going to go test it out and see if it really is helpful. I'll see you guys there. And we're here at the Packery Channel Jetty in Corpus, between Fort A and Corpus. I'm going to show how this thing can be used at a jetty, because a lot of the times, you know, you're breaking off if you get over to the rock edge, and I'm tired of breaking off hooks. So what this thing can do is I can map, I can see where the rocks end in the water, that way I know where to put the line, and that way, that's where the fish are holding, they're going to hold right up against these rocks. So I want to be able to get to the edge of the rocks without breaking into them, so I break my line off every time. So I'm just going to cast it out here, map it, and 
make sure that I'm not hitting the rocks and hopefully catch some fish. Jetties are a really good place to take kids because you can fish the edge of these rocks with dead shrimp and you could just catch fish all day. I mean, they're small little pin perch and stuff uh, most of the time, but you could catch snapper. Obviously, redfish feed here. I've seen snook here. There's a lot of different species and they hold right up against these rocks and you will never, I've never been there and not at least been able to catch these small piggy perch. So I think it's a great spot to bring kids to get them into the sport. Just reiterating these small casts that I'm making to the edge of the rocks. People casting away from the jetty with the same bait aren't catching anything, but I'm catching a fish on every cast with these short casts to the rocks. You know, I mean, sheep's head, black drum, red fish, everything will eat right next to these rocks. Sometimes even better than they will away from the rocks. As you can see here, I pull in a little red fish right up tight to the rocks. that's going to be it for my product review of the iBobber Fish Finder. I think it's a decent little product. I think most of its applications go towards shorebound anglers, jetty fishermen, and wade fishermen looking for a way to find fish and map the bottom of the areas that they are fishing. If you're looking for more information on this product, you can go to their website, which is realsonar.com. I'll also leave a link in the description below. Also, there are different ways of using this product. I know Jojo Bars did a video and Andrew Flair did a video on this product. I'll leave those links in the description as well if you're looking for a little bit more information on this product. So I'm all about finding new technologies and new products that are going to help me put more fish in the cooler. So if you guys have a product that you love and it helps you guys catch, catch fish, I would love to hear about it. So comment it below or email me at redhuntertx.com. I would love to try it out. Also, if you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the end of the video. I'll leave links to my kayak review and, you know, a couple other kayak fishing videos that I have on my channel that you guys should definitely check out. Also, I've got coming up, uh, I'm going to do my tackle videos, a bull red how-to. I've got another kayak review coming up. So I've got a lot of stuff coming up. So if you have not subscribed already, you definitely should. And I will see you guys next time.